Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 5.3, Rates Lesson. Pause while you write Section 5.3 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write the lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is find rates, unit rates, and equivalent rates. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. A rate is a ratio of two quantities using different units. So the example there is you read three books every two weeks. A unit rate is a rate that compares a quantity of one unit of another quantity. Your example is the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. So the one there is per one hour. So if you wanted to put a one in your notes, that would work. Equivalent rates are rates that have the same unit rate. So 6 miles in 3 hours equals 4 miles in 2 hours. So remember that equivalent means equal. Today we'll be starting on page 206 of your math textbook. Example 1, writing a rate. The double number line shows the rate at which you earn points for successfully hitting notes on a, in a music video game. Write a rate that represents this situation. So we have a number line for points on the top and a number line for notes on the bottom. So on the points number line, when you hit one note, you earn 150 points, and two notes, you earn 300 points, and three notes, 450 points. And when you get to four notes, you earn 600 points. So it says one possible rate is 600 points for every four notes. But you could have written a rate for any of those spots along that number line. Let's move on to example two, finding a unit rate. A piece of space junk travels five miles in eight seconds. How far does it travel per second? So we're going to use a ratio table and divide by 8 to write an equivalent rate in which the time is 1 second. Because with a unit rate, remember we want to have 1 in the denominator or in the bottom part of our rate. So our table looks like this. We have distance in miles and we know that it goes five miles in eight seconds. So our rate is five eighths per one second. And we got to that unit rate by dividing both numbers by eight. Because we can see that in order to get eight to be one, which is what we want, we have to divide it by 8. So if we do that to one of our numbers, we have to do that to both of our numbers. So 5 divided by 8 is 5 eighths. So the rate 5 miles to 8 seconds is equivalent to 5 eighths miles to 1 second. So the space junk travels 5 eighths of a mile per second. Example three, we're finding equivalent rates. So letter A, a chef buys six pounds of salmon fillets for $51. How much will the chef pay for nine more pounds of salmon fillets? So using a ratio table, we divide to find the unit rate, and then we multiply to find the cost for nine pounds of salmon fillets. So we're actually doing both of the problems that we've learned how to do. So we find a unit rate and we're also finding equivalent rates. So this is our initial rate, $51 for six pounds. And then we divide both the top and the bottom by six because we want to find a unit rate. So that means we have to have a one on the denominator or one on the bottom. So we take six and we divide it by six to get one. And we take 51 and we divide it by 6 and we get 8.5. So that's $8.50 per pound. So that's how much it costs per pound. 
and then we know that we want to buy 9 pounds of it. So we take 1 and we multiply that by 9 to get 9 pounds on the bottom. And then we take 8.5 and we multiply that by 9 and we get $76.50. So the chef will pay $76.50 for 9 more pounds of salmon fillets. Letter B, you buy 2 pounds of tilapia fillets for $16. What is the cost for seven pounds of tilapia fillets? We're doing the same thing, but we're using a slightly different method. We're using the double number lines. Because $16 is easily divided into halves, fourths, and eighths, it is appropriate to model the rate using a double number line. So we can see that two pounds is $16. That's right there on the double number line. And then we can just mark it out and say, see that four pounds is $32, six pounds is $48, eight pounds is $64, and halfway between six and eight would be seven pounds at $56. So the cost for seven pounds of tilapia fillets is $56. Let's take a look at the study tip. The unit rate of cost per unit is called unit cost. The unit cost of the salmon in example 3A is $8.50 per pound, and the unit cost of the tilapia is $16 divided by 2 pounds, so that would be $8 per pound. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the following on your own problems. They're also on page 207 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson completed. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip you must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed, and you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.